Hey guys, me Ryan Max here, and today I'm going to be giving you my first Lightseeker deck profile. So, again, I said in a, one of my previous videos that I'm planning on putting more Lightseekers into the channel and box openings and profiles like this. I think the game is a pretty fun game for our player base and our locals. So, we've decided to do, try to do more of Lightseekers. So, you'll see more like this from me, Savage, Zelly, Jagak, or all, all the rest. But, yeah, so, obviously this is going to be my uh, Hive King deck that I've been using for a couple of weeks. And it's actually really enjoyable. Like, the insects are actually quite strong. So, obviously, obviously you got the Hive King that... At the start of your turn, if you took 6 or more damage from a single hit, since your last turn, you may move an Insectnoid buff from your hand to the, into play. So if you get hit for like 6 or 7 last, during your opponent's turn, it's now your turn, you can now like play, say, an Insect, an insect buff from your hand into play, so... You know, strong. Most of the time I don't ever get the effect off, but still stops them from hitting me for a lot of damage at once. Uh, now it's, let's start with the insect attack cards. I'm running free of infective wasp. This card deals free damage. Well, it deals damage equal to the number of buffs the recipient has in play time uh, plus three so effectively if they have say three buffs in play and still do them six damage if they have one they only cause them four damage but yeah the card is really strong and pretty cheeky i've had games of one just because of infected wasp uh, for the next attack card it's not an insect it's an undead but still really strong is my reckless spirit this is a card that deals free damage and removes one buff. Um, with this card, it deals free damage to my opponent, and I can remove one buff from their on their board, like a buff that say deals me a far more amount of damage, or heals them for a certain amount, or just stops me from playing a certain family or card. Then the last tag card is one Sneaky Creeble and one Urban Thief. Um, why I'm just not running like two Sneakies or two Urban Thiefs is because like this one does four damage. And it, this attack ignores damage producing effects. This one does 4 damage, and if it's a symbiote, so it has more health than you, you gain like 3 health. So it's just nice to have more, it's just nice to have one of each. Now we go on to probably my main card of the deck, which is Nithra Buffs, which is. Playset of Royal Bumbler. This card is really fun to play because, like this, this card can only rotate while you play a defend card, and it takes a while to actually get to the eight right here. So I'll just move this along. So yeah, so you have to like wait. You have to use like a couple of ro uh, defend cards per turn to rotate. Once this hits the 8, you can use the attack ability to do damage equal to its rotation and then restart its buff. So as soon as it's like done a full rotation, so well, it'll be here, so it'll be here. So you can do the attack ability dealing 8 damage and then it resets the card so you can reuse it again. That's why I run free because it's a really tar It's a big target for cards that say remove one buff or remove three buffs or two. Um, then one insect swarm. 
this is one of the buffs I said on my video that it stays on board. It deals one damage to my opponent so on my turn. So whichever order it's in, like rotate, then damage or damage then rotate, whichever comes first in the line. Two Mantrix. Um this card deals damage equal to its rotation. Also it has X so it doesn't do anything like now, but once it gets to um my turn again it starts to rotate dealing two damage. And whenever I get healed, this card resets. Um, two Leaf Web Wanderer. Um, whenever I play an insect attack card, being like inf infected, um, infected swarm, uh, infected wasp, sorry. Uh, this card rotates, healing me for that much and allowing me to play, uh, allowing me to draw one card. So this is like one of my draw cards in the deck. I think it's, it's actually quite nice. It's, it is quite strong when it when I have the effect swarm. Uh, for the last buff is two egg chambers. Uh, when it gets to the two right here, it deals damage to my target and I can move up to, say, two insect-like cards from my deck to my hand. So effectively, rotor is effectively a couple turn rotor. Which helps me get, easily get the raw bumbler or a wasp or even an infected, uh, no, if, Insect Swarm or Infected Wasp because it says it's a card, not insect buff. The next are my defend cards. I'm running three of the Ashwood Nature. This allows me to heal for two and add a beast card from my deck to my hand. Now that may sound a bit odd. You're using cards that, or insects, why do you have this in play? Because it allows me to search for my Spike Bar Forger. This card, it, it has burn, so I can't add it back from my discard pile to my hand by any means. It deals 2 damage to like all other heroes. I then choose a family I have in play, and then all... All heroes allow to move one card from their discard pile to their hand with the same family. So I always call insect, like either the war bumblers on board or I've got my infected war, uh, like insect swarm out. So it's um, I always get the insect allowing me to add an insect from my bin back to my hand. This allows me to search this and allows me to thin my deck. And mo there's a lot of defend cards in here to help with the war bumbler. And then two, uh, like Bramble Spike Hair Taker. This is one of the newer cards from, um, like the newer sets. I think I had this in my video to explain what the Fen cards were. But this card allowed me to look at the top four cards of my deck and allowed me to put a, a action buff among them into play, or I heal for free. And then they uh, and then they return to the deck in the same order they were revealed in. So it's a, it's a nice this card and the wall bumbler is actually quite strong because I get to know if I have defend cards on top of my deck and allow me to know how much turns I have and I know what I'll draw into effectively. Um, then two. Umbrum Barkeep, this allows me to heal two, and if I have less cards than my opponent, draw two. Uh, this is, like, these are pretty much staples in any deck, really. The, uh, the grey cards, attack, defend, they are all just generic cards that anyone can use. And then, and then we have this guy. Now, 
This card deals two damage with the heal uh, to the heal with the highest health. Uh, now that could also mean if you have if each player has the same health, it hits both of them with six. This card has actually been able to win games because if you're on say four and your opponent's on six, this is like insta dead. The card is really strong, and it's only just had its uh, reprint, so it's in rotation again. So, that's it for my Defend cards. And last but not least, my 5 combo cards. Start off with Bane, uh, Bane Bloom. This is a really strong draw card. It deals damage and allows me to draw a card, so as soon as this enters play, I deal 1 damage to my opponent and I draw a card. Plus, I still draw a card because of the combo card. It will still end my turn, but effectively I've just drawn 2 cards instead of 1. Spiritual tr uh, Sorry, I, I was needed for something, but... Yeah, this. Obviously, when come above, I pay two of these symbols. I don't do anything because it doesn't do anything when it first gets played. As soon as it does get played, it deals that much damage. If this card expires, it gets put back into my hand. Effectively, like after, yeah, like after it's done, it then gets like returned to the hand, so you can then play it again during your next turn if you have the white symbols. Beast Control, uh, Tag Ability, deal 7 damage. Obviously this will take an action because of an attack ability. Um, grappling Roots, or gri yeah, Grappling Roots. Damage from action cards cannot deal more than the uh, rotate number. And once it rotates, it deals damage to your opponent, so they can't deal me 3 damage. Like, if they were to deal me 4 damage, I'll only take the 1. But as soon as it rot like comes to the board and rotates, it will deal with them 3 damage. Then my last card is a, is a heavy hitter. Vine. Vine Slash. Now this card will cost me one of each of my symbols. It will rotate and deal with them 14. This can end games. But it's also a very big target for your opponent's removal cards. Yeah, um. That's effectively it. The deck is altogether 36. With your hero, I dropped my hero, card down. With my hero being the 36th card. And obviously you can only have 5, 5 combo cards and the rest are like buffs, attacks and defend cards. So, yeah, that's that's been my first ever Lightseeker deck profile. Um, if there are some people that don't like this game, fair enough. But there may be other people that do and I think it's worth doing profile the list and I'll get Savage to do his profiles too. So yeah, that's been my Hive King deck profile and <clears throat> we'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah.